Guys, we are back with Josh's vlog. So he released a vlog today. There's already subtitles and a lot of you guys asked me to react to it. I know that it is a more serious um, topic and vlog. So um, I was not sure if I should react to it because, um, but you know, we're just gonna watch it. Maybe I'll cut some part, we'll see. So yeah, guys, I wanted to say thank you so, so much. Because I got so much love on my Hong Kong Saudi cover. So thank you so much. If you have not watched it, um, I will leave a link down below. And yeah, I got so overwhelmed with the amount of love. I was not expecting it. Like it's one of my most liked video. Uh, there's not a lot of views and still there's like more than half the people watched it that liked it. So thank you so much. And yeah, also Sunday I will do a birthday live. So if you wanna come chat with me, party with me, have some drinks, I will leave the information on my community tab, maybe Friday or Saturday. So yeah, come celebrate my birthday with me on Sunday. And yeah, let's do this. This is Josh's new vlog Q&A. Um, I did watch Josh TikTok live yesterday. I watched all of the TikTok live yesterday even though I didn't understand anything so I just had it while I was working because I couldn't understand anything anyways but it was my first ever TikTok live because I just got TikTok if you didn't know so yeah you can follow me on TikTok and yeah okay let's do this okay so he put a trigger warning so you guys um make sure that if you're not like prepared to watch this or if like this is a more serious topic so if you don't want to watch it you can skip this video and head over to a more funny video i've got plenty so yeah Josh Cullen, and you're watching the Disney Channel. Oh my what god, why is this so adorable? I showed you guys. First of all, he's so beautiful. Josh Cullen. Hello everyone, this is Josh Cullen, and welcome back to my channel. And I love how he speaks, like I just love his expression, his face expression. Oh, love it. Nice to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Last time, I saw you Yes, we loved that. We love that skincare routine, that beautiful. I didn't even see that. You see, I don't, don't really use Twitter. So. Oh, he's so beautiful. Who is Josh? Every time he says Josh Cullen, I think about Twilight. <laughs> Edward Cullen. <laughs> who is who is Josh? Is his name Joshua? First of all. Oh. oh my gosh okay so i went all the way back to was it josh yeah josh's instagram i went all the way back to the first photo where he was blonde and i didn't know that he had a lot of photos with stale so i guess he met stale first oh. Okay, I'm gonna just give you a disclaimer. I'm a very emotional person and a, a like a very empath. So if he cries, I'm gonna cry. Or if I feel uncomfortable, I'm gonna cry straight away. So you've been warned. You've seen me cry in my videos when I see them sing. So because I already feel emotional right now. Okay, 
said na hindi na nakapagbayad ang tuition. Kailangan ko mag-stop sa pag-aaral at ang kapatid ko. Naging repeater ako ng grade 3 or siguro 2 years. Hanggang sa ilang years na baon sa utang, ayaw na i-release yung card kahit gusto namin yung ilo to public. Pinala na ako na yung mag-stop. Kung repeater ka, syempre, may mga instances na aasarin ka na may mga times pa na nabubuli ang kapatid ko. Nakipagsuntukan pa ako. Kapatid <laughs> ko yun eh. Kumanda kami nang hindi kami nakapag-aral. Mabag kami ng teenager, hindi nag-aaral. Mas sumihirap pa yung buhay natin. Oh my god, is that why it doesn't know how to swim? I was also wondering why he doesn't know how to swim. Palipat-lipat kami sa kabita. Maliit ang palit ang apartment yun yung nararentahan namin. Then may mga times na hindi na kami nakakain ng tama. Sa isang linggo, maswerte na kami talaga na makakain ng dalawang beses sa isang araw. Uh, wala nang maihain ang pagkain sa lamesa. Hindi na mabayarin yung mga bills. Asin at toyo or ketchup na yung dugo namin. Tumatingin yung point na walang wala na. Minsan hindi kami kumakain ng dalawang araw. Yung pangatlong araw, kinanghinala kami. Mabot ako ng 14 siguro na gano'n yung nangyayari sa amin. Naranasan ko rin yung bangayan lagi sa bahay. Hindi ako mahilig mapag-away. Mother ko at kapatid ko, medyo matindi talaga yung stress sa buhay nila. Sila mismo ang dalawa, madalas mag-away. Yun na yung kakainin ko. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, dinner, bangayan. Hindi na kami nakapagpahin sa bahay. Kinailangan na kaming palayasin. Forcefully pinalayas kami may dumating na barangay. Binungat lahat ng gamit namin sa labas. Doon na nagkaroon ako ng wake up call din sa sarili ko. Ginusto kong itry mamuhay mag-isa. Hindi na rin kinakain ng mental health ko yung nangyayari sa amin. Gusto ko na humiwalay kahit wala akong plano. Bago pala mangyari yun, nadengge pala ako. Hospitalized stage 3 dengue. Kuntik na akong ma-chogi. Hindi <laughs> naman namin alam na dengue siya. Hindi ko malalaman kung hindi ako susuka ng dugo. Marami naman tumulong sa akin. And I'm very thankful. Pero mainly, tumulong sa amin ng family namin sa Amerika. Lumipat sila sa Pasig, ako nagstay ako sa Cavite. Hindi ko rin kaya nung match ng Cavite kasi nandun yung friends ko. Doon ako lumaki. Memorable sa akin yung place na yun. Nakistay ako kung saan-saan. Naghanap ako ng work. Naranasan kong matulog sa napag lang talaga. Almost a year na walang kama. Walang malambot na hinihigaan. Ang budget ko for a day, 30 pesos. Kakashin ko yun. Paano kakain? Nag-apply, apply ako. May time pa nga na parang magpunta ko dun sa factory. Ang kakala ko, ang opening factory worker, pero ang opening pala, janitor. Madangal ang trabaho ng janitor. Para sa akin kasi, syempre, gusto ko rin mag-explore. Nagdalawang isip ako tatanggapin ko yun. Hindi ko tinanggap. Nagtiis mo na ako kahit wala pa akong trabaho. Na super stable. Nakasurvive naman ako. Hanap ng mga sideline. Tapos hanggang sa nagkaroon ako ng stable job as matay na computer shop. Ngayon yung pinaka-stable job ko nun. Nag-start ako mag-review habang nagbabantay ng shop. Yun para sa alternative learning system yung eyes, yung kahit hindi ka nag-aaral, makakuha ka ng diploma, parang papasa ka na rin as a high school graduate. Yung tinaguyod ko mag-working student, thankful ako sa mga tao tumulong sa akin, pero at the same time, marami rin ako experiences na hindi mo nagunda. Siyempre, bata ka, desperado ako sa buhay. Hindi ka pa... ano, ganun kamulat sa mundo. Pero yung desperation ng buhay, yun yung ginamit sa akin para ma-take advantage na manipulate a lot of people took advantage of me siyempre bata pa ako yun maraming experiences na pangit talaga pinadaan ng ka then Successfully, nakagraduate ako. Nakakuha ako ng diploma ko for high school. Nahingi talaga ako sa mga tao. Alam mo yun, nasa school din, nakakapag-ipon ako ng maliit na halaga lang. Every month, tapos nakilala ko yung mga friends ko na nagpakita sa akin ng community sa dancing. Hanggang saan nakita ko si Nostel. Sabi ko gusto ko maging ganun. I saw that photo! Na gusto ko rin maging performer. Hindi yun yan, nakilala ko si Nostel yung friend ko sila sa isang event. In-invite nila ako. Super saya ko na-invite ako nun. Sumayaw. Naging member nila si Idol ko sila. Idol ko yung grupo na sa'yo. Sila talaga yung nagturo sa akin kung paano sumayaw ng tama. Barong dahil ako sumayaw dati. Wala akong talent. Kasi naging member ko sila. Nanala kami ng mga competitions. Nakalating ako ng Korea, Singapore, Indonesia. Dahil sa kanila. Ang laki talaga ng... It's so crazy because I feel like our lives are so similar. It's... There's so many similarities in both our lives. It's insane. Like, literally, same. 
same childhood and then and then when I was in high school I started dancing and that's when like that's when it like helped me I went to like competitions I started going for nationals and we would win and I would like take my team to like regionals and it's just it's the only thing that kept me going like when you're an artistic kid it's very both easy and hard because obviously it helps so much to have a passion when you like your life is not going well so I would put like all my time effort everything of like thinking of the future you know I will make it so yeah just dancing singing so yeah It's very brave for sure. It's like So does he know or like does he still see his other, he's got two siblings, he's got three.
pag alam mo kung paano mo mapapasaya yung sarili mo at kahit sa mga maliit na bagay, kahit na paano, makakakupap ka. Di ba nga may kwento ako dati, may bumuno ako, kasi may ginagayin ako dati. Pinakabata ako since dami akong trauma, isa sa pang bayin ng pag-handle ko na sa ito ng patay. Iiyak nga ako, ganyan. Hanggang sa tumanda ako, nadala ko siya. Sabi ni Chimez0429, or Chai, What's the best advice can you give to those struggling right now? Something you wish you could have listened to when you were also in your dark days. Sarili ko lang natutunan ito. Pero never destroy yourself. Kahit ano mong pinagtadaaran mo, gaano pa kahirap yan, never destroy yourself. Ito akin kasi is to pinagtadaaran. The only person that can get you out of that is yourself. I feel like you cannot help someone who doesn't want to be helped. Yeah, it has to come from you first. That's a great advice. And people, people are strong for getting out of situations like this and still having, still being happy and having hope and. Yes, I'm under pressure. Yes, I'm worried. Honestly, late na ako. Age ko para sa mga gusto ko. Nagkata on unfortunate din ako ng bata ako. Wala ako masyado resources. Magkakaiba naman tayo ng pace. Level one mo. I feel like that's just time for me. You just have to. Because when you start later than everybody else, then you feel like you're too old now to do things. I'm kind of pressured. Ito ang two questions similar kaya pag-asamahin ko na. Sabi ni Engineer 18, when is the time you felt you lost your purpose? Are you feeling na lost ka na because of a certain occurrence in life mo? You seem like a determined and driven person kaya fears ako about it. At ito rin si Ayel at Ms. Hopia. I know you're a strong and brave person, but did you even think of giving up? Like sa mga panakong pakiramdam mo, hindi mo talaga kakayan. Pinabanan mo pa rin ba kahit mahirap na at that the leader answers all? Sabi nila, sabi nyo ang matatag akong person. Pero sa totoo na, may mga times na hindi ko na din kinaya before. I had my first girlfriend yun na nilaw ko ako na karapan. Walang wala ka na, tapos pati self-esteem mo tinamahan. Wala ako. This is insane. We're, we're, I feel like we're, our lives is so similar. That it scares me like, wow. It's so crazy, I had the same, I had the same, like my first boyfriend who cheated on me, it just destroyed me, because like my self-esteem was just crushed. I could not trust, I could not like trust anybody. It's so funny because I was saying like in my, when I watched the first vlog that what he did was also like what I would do like in the morning routine, you know, look at stocks in the morning and like I feel like we're so similar, it's insane. It's insane. You have to cry. You have to go through the problem. That's the only way to actually overcome the problem. If you're like, if you like having a hard time, you have to go through it. That's the only way because people keep on running away from it and then all your traumas and all your fear and everything, it stays in your body, in your muscles and then that's how you always, you know, then it's all, all your trauma is always inside you because you're never facing it. You have to go through it. You have to cry, go through it, be sad, give yourself like one, two hours, do it and then let it go, you know.
matapang din tayo na yung pinapakita natin sa iba, yung gano'ng side natin. So, ayun nga, both weakness and strength. Tanong ni Daenerys, the Guardian of House 18, about cryptocurrency and stocks. Do you handle the portfolio by yourself? How did you start and how do you learn? Oh yeah, so some of you told me that it might be because of Justin's brother. Because I handle everything on my own. Like, I've learned in the past year. Um, I have a business, so if you didn't know, so yeah, and all my money is going to the stock market, I invest everything, so yeah. I'm a long term, long, hold it forever. Yes, me too. So yeah. There's so much on YouTube. You can learn anything free on YouTube and podcasts. Every morning I listen to a one-hour podcast when I work in the morning. So I get my headphones and I listen to money podcasts, self-help podcasts. Yes, long term, baby. Yeah, they stuck with you. That's because it goes in your subconscious. I've learned a lot from like, like the brain and everything, and your traumas they go into your subconscious, and that's even if you want to forget them, you will never because it's stuck in that part of your brain that is associated with feelings. So the more feelings you put towards like a memory, the deeper in your brain it will be. Yes. Yes, you get mad at the world and at everybody. You feel like nobody understands you. He's very brave for like saying what happened to him because like it's very hard to like open up, especially on the internet. I don't think I would ever talk about my traumas on the internet. Especially when you're a celebrity. And I think we have the last question for today. How do you overcome stage fright? It must be easier for him because he has support from other from the group members. But being on stage I've been on so if you didn't know I'm a theater kid, so I did a lot of performances and stage fright is it's hard to overcome. But the adrenaline is so good. And you do need the more you do it, the less you'll be scared. Like that's just the way. The more you do it. You know what, guys? I will try to like find some stage moments because I have a few from like I was in a few musicals, and so if I find anything, I will insert them. <laughs>
I'll insert them at the end if I like find some of my footage. So I think that's it for today's vlog. Yes, Josh, I want to give him a big hug. I want to. Oh. Guys, make sure to subscribe and like the video, make his engagement go up. So comment, do multiple comments, um, like the video, share. So yeah, and subscribe and turn the notifications on because we want his engagement to go up. And I also put his channel like click so you can subscribe. So yeah, guys, this was, oh, this was, it breaks my heart. Especially now that I've, I've known them more and more and more and more. It's just like, wow, it's crazy when you hear someone else's story. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.